Hey, howdy there again, folks. Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see you, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while. I know where I go over there, shout food and drink items. I eat this stuff. I drink stuff, folks. And I talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, uh, that's how I'm doing this. I'm doing it from inside the old truck. I'm also wearing a cool shirt while I'm doing it from inside the truck. What cool shirt am I wearing, folks? Because when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. Boom! A Dima shirt! The hell is a Dima? Well, you know, maybe you're around my age or so. Kind of grew up in the new metal scene. The late 90s, early 2000s. A Dima kind of came in. Kind of, you know, a little bit near the tail end of the, the better years of it and everything like that. But they're able to go over there. Make a little noise. They've stuck it out uh, ever since then. You know, they've had some issues with, uh, you know, their singer and stuff like that and everything. But now they have a new singer, dude named Ryan. Very cool guy. I've had the opportunity to see these guys play a few times. Always have a blast. They're extremely nice guys. I even have some videos of shows of theirs that I've been to see on this very channel. So if you're interested or if you just like new metal, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, a Dima shirt aside, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, since I'm in the truck, I must have been, I must have gone to a place and found a thing. Right? Right. Well, that's the case, folks. So here's what I'm trying for you. Because today we're trying, boom! What's this? It's a chicken sandwich. Where's it from? Burger King. It is. <laughs> Try to get a good... Yeah. Look at it. It's bacon. It's Swiss. It's the... New Royal BK Bacon Swiss Chicken Sandwich thing. Okay. So, a little backstory. I'm just eating lettuce, folks. Just live with it. <laughs> Hungry. So, okay. Backstory. Uh, so, Burger King. I think it was like two years ago now. Maybe it was last year, I forget. But um, they decided to go over there, enter into the chicken sandwich wars, right? They came out with a chicken sandwich called the, or with the, yeah, called the Chick King Sandwich. And it went out, it went over there, went toe to toe with Popeyes and KFC and all the big guys. In my opinion, my humble opinion, it was an excellent chicken sandwich. I really liked it. I consider it a very genuine contender. But then recently, they decided that they were going to get rid of their Chick King sandwich and their spicy Chick King sandwich. They are going to introduce a whole new line. A whole new variety of chicken sandwiches. The BK Royal Chick Crispy Chicken Sandwiches. That's That was their whole thing. So they had an original one. They had a spicy one. They had a barbecue bacon one. And finally, the <laughs> Bacon and Swiss, which is the one that I have right here. Now, if you watched, because I reviewed all the other ones, this is the last one. If you watched my one that I did for the uh, barbecue bacon one, that was supposed to be my review for this one, but they got my order wrong. So I just rolled with it and I just changed it up. I checked before I got this one because I was like, now that said, they didn't do the best of job of constructing it, I don't think. I, in fact, am probably going to have to augment things just a little bit just to even them out yeah okay yeah, it's like what what was the goal here uh, okay well all right so you might be able to see there's some tomato there's some swiss not a lot if i'm honest and uh there's some bacon one thing that I've been a fan of with all these sandwiches is that they got rid of the pickles. I don't like pickles on a chicken sandwich. I don't see the point. The only uh, exemption to that is uh, fry the coop. That's because they use exceptionally good pickles, and it actually works with everything going on with their chicken sandwiches. But we're going to give this a shot, folks. Now, this is, like I said, this is the last one in the range. Go watch my other ones if you want my full interpretations of them. I have not been impressed. I, I am very much lamenting the loss of the Chick King sandwich because I feel like we, as consumers, have been kind of thrown under the bus. 
than giving it an inferior product, but maybe this will go over there and change it up. I don't think it will, if I'm honest, but I do try to go into these being positive. Let's give it a go. Too much lettuce. Way too much lettuce. First and foremost, I mentioned this with the other ones too. Nowhere near the same level of quality of chicken you were getting. It definitely, it's thinner, it's more compressed, just doesn't have the same oom. All right, well. I like this one better than I like the barbecue, um, the barbecue bacon one. Because with the barbecue bacon one, the sauce really kind of overrode all the other flavors. This with the Swiss and the bacon, it works a little bit better. The Swiss isn't nearly as overpowering as the barbecue sauce was, so you can go over there. Tastes the chicken better. Tastes the bacon better. Now that said, there's fundamental problems. Number one, number one, the bacon, and I mentioned this with all my ba uh, Burger King uh, stuff that has bacon. Bacon's just not not particularly good quality bacon. It doesn't taste bad or anything like that. It does have a little bit of that smoky bacon flavor. Uh, you know, adds a little salt. And savory texture, uh, savory uh, flavor. But, does it taste like good bacon? Absolutely not. It tastes like cheap bacon, because it is cheap bacon. So really, yeah. The bacon, and I mean, I could taste it better, and in this I do think it works better. But it's not... It's not working like bacon should work on a sandwich. It's just, it's kind of there. It's nice to have, I guess, but really, it just kind of makes me want better bacon more than anything else. And the same thing goes for the Swiss. I'm not a big Swiss cheese guy. I love cheese in so many forms. Swiss, I don't know, man. I've just, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to like it. I watch a lot of Tom and Jerry. You know, if you watch that stuff, man, you know, cheese with the holes. That was the whole thing. And uh, I remember being a kid and wanting to, you know, eat the cheese like Tom and Jerry. Yeah, just, it's never been my jam. But if you melt it, you use it in the right things, it can be really good. With this, this Swiss definitely comes off like Swiss cheese product. I don't think that this cheese has any association with the nice Swiss people. I don't think it has any lineage. <laughs> uh, it is it is probably more in common with like you know, plasticine or <laughs> it was definitely constructed in a lab and it tried to get away before they stabbed it and put it on my chicken sandwich. I mean, it doesn't taste bad or anything like that, but like it it doesn't respond the way that Swiss cheese is supposed to respond, and it. It's like, you know, um, like American cheese if it were Swiss cheese. And I think there actually is something along those lines. It's just... It's not great, you know? And, like, the thing is, like, I could go to uh, Culver's. And I could get, like, a mushroom and Swiss burger. And, like, that's really good, you know? And that's, like, that's a perfect vehicle. This... You know, you're trying to make, you know, this is like arguably the most like fancy of the chicken sandwiches, right? You know, you got a little bacon, you got a little Swiss cheese. Oh, we're a little upper class. When you half-ass the upper class, it just highlights it all the more. It does taste okay. I will say that. Out of the new chicken sandwich line, out of the four that they have, this one would be second out of number four. 
I had the spicy is still probably my favorite. But it's still just not that great. It's it's okay. And it's unfortunate because like I like Burger King. And I think that when they do it right, when they actually put the effort in, they can come out with some really good stuff, you know, by fast food standards. This isn't that. You know, and, and again, it's just it's a slap in the face because the Chick King sandwich was one of those instances where they actually put in the effort and did something that came out that was really good. And now we get this, and it's like, eh, it's fine, but it's just, eh. It, it just, it feels cheap. It feels, th this, this is what happens when you go over there and you order a Chick King sandwich off of Wish. This is what you get. So, would I recommend it? No. I wouldn't recommend any of the BK Royal Crispy Chicken line, honestly. They're all pretty fucking weak. I mean, they're better than some of the other alternatives. Like, they're probably a little bit better than, like, the McDonald's Crispy Chicken Sandwich. I don't even know if they still have that or not. Um, but the fact of the matter is, like, I think when I did the original Chicken review... I, I mentioned, if I recall correctly, I think I mentioned the fact that, like, while I didn't find it to be quite as good as, like, say, Popeye's or KFC, I did really like it. And it was like, I, you know, if you're somebody who's out there and you enjoy a chicken sandwich, you want a good chicken sandwich, maybe you don't have a Popeye's or KFC or something like that a little bit closer to you, this would be a not only a perfectly acceptable option, it would be a very good option. This is not the case. This is... Go drive to KFC. Go drive to Popeye's. Get their chicken sandwich. Don't just don't. Even even if you're go if you're going through Burger King, get yourself a Whopper, you know, or something like. There's there's better options than this, and it, it is sad because again, like I I really liked having the chicken on the menu. I felt it was a nice feather in their cap. This isn't a feather, so. It's a bit of a turd. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. And until Burger King decides what they're going to do with their chicken sandwich line, probably going to be the last uh, Burger King chicken sandwich review I do for a while. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of month. Stupendous rest of the year. And folks, if you can go over there and have yourselves a true chicken sandwich, because, folks, that was truly the king of the chicken sandwiches. I mean, it was, and there were a couple other ones that were better, but it was it was still good. It was like it was like a king of like its own little minor kingdom, you know, not the king of kings, but it was it was in there. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not always the easiest thing in the world to do. <coughs> it's a crazy world out there. There's all kinds of things coming at you and stresses and things to deal with. I know. I'm with you on it. But, but, it's important that we go over there, even if we don't always succeed, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, okay? Try to bring it down a notch. And hopefully, as we go throughout our lives, you know, it gets a little bit easier. That's all I'm saying. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're in some magical part of the country, or maybe the world, where the Chick King sandwich is still around. And maybe you're over there and you watch my video and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go over there, I am going to ship him a Chick King sandwich. Don't do that. I can't imagine it carrying very well. I guess it depends on how far away you are. But it's still, eh, it's going to have to travel. Don't do that, but, you know, maybe hit me up in the comments and be like, yo, guess what? I live in Easter Island and we still have the Chick King sandwich. I'll be right over there, we'll be hanging out eating chicken sandwiches with the... Maui statues and all the cool stuff and everything. Yay, Easter Island fans. Do I have Easter Island fans? Probably not. Uh, or conversely, you could go over there and do something way more practical than that. Um, go out on a tandem bike ride with, with somebody that you care about. And maybe you're, maybe you're not that person, right? Maybe you're not a tandem bike person. You, you can always ride a singular bike. Or you could ride a tandem bike. Just by yourself. It might be kind of difficult and it looks a little sad, but hey, if it's what you want to do, you go ahead and you do it. All right. Bye.